Anyway, would you like to move on? Let's move on from whatever that was. Yes, because poor Prince Nana. So, I don't know what the benefit of this is, but they have Tony Schiavone bring Prince Nana out on stage and beat around the bush in some, again, tortured way of getting to the point. How swerve? And Nana starts actually getting to do a promo. Can you remember the last time Nana just did a promo for the guy he manages? Never. So he's actually starting to do a promo. And of course, he has to start it with, you know, putting Swerve over, said that there's nothing that can stop him mentally, but physically he's not cleared. And as soon as he gets that out, here comes MVP making his debut and stealing the show. And the way that they had him do it was by come at, coming out and cutting a promo on Nana putting Swerve over like, you know, the greatest thing in the world and saying all of his troubles are Nana's fault. And it was a hell of a promo and and much of it was true in in terms of that Nana in the booking, in the creative, has never gotten to say anything or do anything meaningful. He never interfered when Swerve was a heel for the most part. When he's been a babyface and he's been attacked, Nana wasn't even worked in to fight back. So now MVP comes out and tells him off, and then Nana has to stand there with a blank look on his face when MVP says, here's my card, give it to Swerve. And he walks off and Nana stands again. He does th you, you don't let a guy go out there and just get buried and say nothing at all, do you? Especially when he manages one of your top fucking guys. Help me. And if MVP's a heel, which he is, uh, you know, that's the best way to use him. He came out there and told the truth. <laughs> he just came out there and yes. you, you agree with him. As he's saying, it, he's like, yeah, you know what? If Swerve really did have a good manager like MVP, maybe things would be different. Nana danced, even though Swerve wasn't even out there. He danced and he had like a bag of coffee. And then he started well, his but, promo. But also then if MVP is the heel, which it, it sounded like he was, but I thought Swerve just switched back heel. But then Nana would be a heel, but they like Swerve and they like Nana. No, Swerve became a babyface again when they burned his house down. Oh, I forgot about that. That was the yeah. last thing. Yeah, he was a heel for three weeks before that. Okay, then the, the heel just came out and told the babyface off, and the babyface said absolutely nothing and did nothing about it. What, uh, well, obviously, I, this, is, this is the setup you would think Swerve turning down MVP, and then MVP has something, has a problem with Swerve, and that sets up maybe, well, or maybe coming in with MVP, but... But the problem with that is, why would he turn MVP down at this point? If you saw Nana, if you were Swerve, would you say, hey, why didn't you tell that motherfucker off? Why didn't you tell him to fuck this and fuck you and fuck the other, th or something? It, 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 you don't have Nana just stand there and like a mute, even if that was the idea that they had, a, someone should have, producing that should have been, well, by the word, Where's Nana's balls? Can we go run find them and give them back to him? He should have taken the card and torn it up in his face and said, if you want to talk to Swerve Strickland, I can't do his accent, then you go through Prince Nana. And MVP goes, oh, we'll see about that. And then, now you got a goddamn conflict. What you have there is a doormat. Right? What do you think of the idea of MVP coming in potentially with Lashley or Shelton Benjamin? Some people have had a problem with it because of specifically the age of the wrestlers I just mentioned. Some people have a problem with it because they're WWF superstars, whatever it may be. WWE, excuse me. What are your thoughts on MVP, who I thought came across like a major league star right away on the yeah. show? What are your thoughts on him potentially having the Hurt Business? Well, I don't think it matters MVP's age because he's a manager, and I think right. a lot of people know who the fuck he is as opposed to the federal witness protection program participants that are on a lot of this program. 
uh, yes, MVP should be there. And I, I'm pretty sure that Shelton Benjamin, however old Shelton is right now, is in better physical condition and could stretch the living shit out of everybody on the goddamn roster. I'd love to see. We see Moxley in these shoot grappling tournaments or whatever he's doing up there in fucking Cincinnati with the, you know, the Home Depot uh, counter boy stretching him. I'd love to see what Shelton Benjamin could do with that entire goddamn roster. I don't think he'd start a sweat until he got past number 25. Uh, with Lashley, my only concern is, is he Andre the Giant on that roster? Who could believably even you know, be asked to fucking put his boots on for him. I, so, Will but my know. God, he's a, he's a, oh, Jesus Christ. He's a major star again from the other company that everybody knows who the fuck he is. And the Hurt Business was a thing. The people watched. It couldn't, it couldn't hurt. See what I did there. But no, besides Lashley, you know, looking like a goddamn, Japanese movie monster next to the rest of the roster, I, I think they would be an addition. And as I said, you know, find me anybody that is in the shape Shelton Benjamin is in on that roster, and I'll fucking eat your hat. How's that? <laughs>